by using a few basic Photoshop techniques, we're going to turn this daytime picture into a nighttime picture. going to make two copies of the original picture and these will be your two layers. To avoid any confusion we're going to rename these layers, we're going to call the top one dark and the middle one light. We're going to add a curves adjustment layer to the light layer. So make sure your light layer is one that's highlighted and remember to turn off the top layer. We're going to make this picture brighter now by dragging the line up as I have done here. We're going to give the picture a yellow tint now by clicking on the RGB section and selecting the blue channel. Blue is the opposite of yellow, so we can bring this line down that makes it more yellow. I'm oh, about there then. Nice greeny yellow there. Now this layer is actually finished, so what we're going to do to avoid any uh, mistakes, we're going to merge that down. There we go, that's finished. So now we need to make the top layer dark. Make sure we click on the top layer, so that's what we're working on. We're going to add another adjustment layer. This time, it's colour lockup. And we're going to go on a 3D LUT. There's already some good presets in here. So that's a nice dark picture there. So what we need to do then is make... This layer flat, so we're going to merge down again. So there we go, that's our two layers we're going to be working on. Dark and light. And we are going to use the pen tool. I need, do need to uh, go right in, as my eyes aren't the best. But if you are learning Photoshop, this is a really good one to start learning the pen tool on because it's quite simple. The pen tool is the best selecting tool. It just takes a bit of getting used to, if I'm being honest. Make that a selection. There we go. Now we've got that selected. Now we're going to go on to the brush tool. Always make sure your layer is selected. And what we're going to do is go on to overlay. Output. What the overlay will do is help you build up your colours. Because we've selected it, you can't go outside. By doing overlay, you're actually doing layer upon layer with it until it's right. So we do select that. We've got a window showing. Now this window will be spilling light down here. What you need to do, you've had all the overlay on, make sure, always make sure you put your brush back to normal. There we go. Now we've added the layer mask. So what we've got to remember now is we've changed our brush back to normal rather than overlay. We're on the layer mask. We've got to remember that the black reveals. White conceals, black reveals. We don't want a thick yellow on there because it wouldn't be because it, it, it's at night. So we take the opacity of the brush down to about 17% and we'll just gently paint onto there but it's just a bit of light spilling out as it would to light it up and if you zoom right in make your brush smaller 
the light would be on there as well, just a bit, little bit lighter there. Make that a little bit lighter to show the light coming out. Now we take this right back to how it should be. We're there. Remembering any light would spill, so you've got a light here, it would spill there. Lights from the window here would reflect there where the light is. Same with that one, it would reflect there. Spending a bit of time on each window that you light up, always remembering where the light is going to reflect. You can get a finished result like that. In fact, if you spent up quite a bit of time, it'd be a lot better than that as well. But these are just some of the basic techniques that you can use to turn a picture from a daytime scene into a nighttime scene. So you can go back to, uh, oh gosh, there we go. So it's from that to that. Go back to the finished version. So it's from that to that. And you can do this with most uh, daytime pictures. You might struggle with uh, a family day out on the beach, if I'm being really honest. But you never know. Give it a go. And it's just to use those techniques. Those techniques can be used in quite a lot of things. These are just the basic Photoshop techniques which will serve you well by practicing.